A 61-year-old El Paso man will bury his wife this weekend, two weeks after she and 20, 21 others were murdered in that city. Theirs was in every way a remarkable love story. Married for a little more than two decades, they traveled the country together till deciding to settle in El Paso. They had no one, he had no one but her, no living relatives. He says she was his last close connection in this world, literally his one and only. The idea of burying her alone might have been too much for him, Luckily, blessedly, it will be the one burden he will not have to bear because, as our Gary Tuckman discovered, he has friends, many friends that he never even knew he had. Tony Basco loved only one person in the world, and now she's gone. And she loved you a lot. Well, I, I mean, I'll tell you what, I don't even know why, what, what you're saying in me sometimes. <laughs> but we, we, we had wonderful years. That the best years of my whole life. Tony has no other family. His wife, Margie Ricard, had just a few family members, but none in the El Paso area. Attendance at her funeral was expected to be minimal until the internet took over. To Tweets from journalists and media outlets sent out messages Everybody of support for Tony. Then there was this Facebook post from the funeral home reading, Mr. Antonio Basco was married 22 years to his wife, Margie Ricard. He had no other family. He welcomes anyone to attend his wife's services. People from all over the United States have contacted the funeral home, as well as Tony, to say they plan to attend Margie's funeral. There are going to be hundreds of people here, probably, from all around the country. How does that make you feel? I love it. I mean, it's nice to see people really caring about people. There's going to be a lot of people now. Tony totally was important. They had been married for 22 years. Tony says his life had been very difficult prior to meeting her. What would you like people to know about Margie? She was a caring, loving, the most beautiful person. <laughs> Every day now he goes to the memorial site next to the Walmart, taking exquisite care of Margie's memorial making sure the flowers and the wind chimes, which she always loved so much, look the best they can. Where did you meet her? Omaha, Nebraska, in a bar. And you were single? She was single? Yeah. That would been... And was it love at first sight? Oh, man, you couldn't imagine. Tony is still waking up each morning in disbelief that she is gone. I stood at my table uh, looking at the front door, just waiting for her to walk in. I've even tried calling her on the phone. You have? I've tried to. At the memorial site, Tony tells Margie that someday he will meet her in heaven. So what you been up to? What do you got to do up there? I wish you'd tell me something. Tony is now beginning a new life alone. But for at least one day at Margie's funeral, he won't be. She made me the happiest man in the world and the luckiest. There's nobody any luckier than me in this whole world. Anderson, Tony spends a lot of time right here, hours a day, visiting Margie. He wants to be as close as he can to her, even though she's not alive anymore. And it's important to point out that when he's here, people now know him. They come up to him, they hug him, they shake his hand, they talk to him, and he takes very great comfort with that. Mm. Anderson. Uh, it is so moving. Uh, it's so great that so many people are going to show up and, and honor her life. Gary, thank you very much. Appreciate a great story.